Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 23rd of 2024 is titled Supernova Remnant CTA-1. So what do we see here? Well, here we see part of a supernova remnant. Now a supernova remnant, as you might expect, is what is left after left over after a supernova explosion. So when a star tears itself apart, it leaves behind the debris of what was formerly the star. Now that can be left behind in two parts. Typically, there's the remnant, which is what we see here. And when it is a massive star that has exploded and ended its life, then there is often also a pulsar or neutron star left at the center. Now that was something that astronomers looked for in this but did not find. Now there could be a couple of reasons for not finding a pulsar. One would be that the beams of the pulsar it pulses in very specific directions like the beam of a lighthouse. So if you're not in the right direction then you're not going to see that beam pass you and you won't detect it. Or it could just be emitting at the wrong wavelengths. So if it's not emitting at the right wavelength that you're trying to detect it, then you're not going to be able to find it. And that's what happened here. Most pulsars we detect through radio waves. Radio waves, relatively low energy compared to high energy like x-rays and gamma rays, are easier to emit. So we tend to see them and that's how pulsars were first discovered back in the 1960s through radio emissions. However, this is a more unusual pulsar in that it is not giving off radio waves, but it does give off gamma rays. So again, typically it's be the opposite of that that you might expect. The gamma rays being much higher energy, you would expect those would form earlier. You would see those earlier in the aftermath of the stellar explosion. However, this star would have been seen to explode on Earth about 10,000 years ago. So it's been quite a long time compared to others like the Crab Nebula, which is only about a thousand years old. So 10 times longer than that. So we might have expected that the gamma ray emission might have died down more, but it's still strong, even though we're not detecting radio waves here. Now in the remnant we, we, itself, we see material that has been expelled out at high speeds and we see the shock waves as that crashes into other material in the interstellar medium. And that causes it to glow there and we can see some of the intensity there in tense regions where different streams of this material are crashing into other material, releasing large amounts of energy. Now supernova explosions are some of the most intense things that can occur in the universe some of the most energetic things that can actually happen in the universe in terms of the amount of energy that they produce because it is quite possible that were a supernova to occur say within 40 or 50 light years of Earth it would be very good at wiping out much if not all of life on Earth from its energy even from that great distance. Fortunately though there are no supernovae within that that kind of distance or at least stars that would become supernovae within that distance from Earth. So that was our picture of the day for August 23rd of 2024. It was titled Supernova Remnant CTA1. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.